Okay, uh, so here I just want to give you a very quick review that uh, uh, some functions that supported in Tableau. So first, uh, spatial date is a special um, date type that is now supported in Tableau. And uh, we already saw that one and during our labs so that for different cities or countries, etc. So we can always convert that one into the corresponding geographic rules like city, county, state, etc. And those are considered dimensional data in Tableau. And a Tableau will calculate the, the latitude and also longitude for each um, type of the geographic rules. And so you can see that they are still using the GCS, of course. And those latitude and longitude are in the measures category. OK, so you can see right now Tableau supports those different type of the geographic rules like airport, area code, and also MSA, CBSA. Um, I'm not sure about that. Cities, so that can support in uh, most cities that are uh, 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 a lot from a lot of countries. And also country and region, county, state, and also zip code. And you can also even define your own geocoding schema so that you can upload your own geocode. Um, and also from this map and also uh, define your own geocoding um, rules. So and next you can just drag those um, data that into the map and you can see the latitude longitude are used to display those uh, ge geographic locations. And they also support the hierarchy. Remember that in one of our lab that by creating hierarchies, you can eliminate uh, the date uncertainty that um, Tableau will be able to identify like the, the states or the counties that in different regions. OK, so that is another example of using the hierarchy. And you can create different types of the maps. So the most common maps are the heat map, chloroplast map, and also the proportional map. So those three maps are supported on Tableau uh, directly. And an another nice feature is that you can add map box uh, into Tableau. OK, so map box is a mapping platform that is used by developers so that they can bring in their own and base maps into any mobile or online applications. Uh, so you can create your free map box account to get those access tokens. Uh, so we all do that during uh, today's lab. Again, and make sure that you're creating a free one so that you can bring your own maps that created on map box into Tableau so that can, you can enrich your map in Tableau. So this is one example that using you can see the base map from the Tableau. So um, and also there are additional options on uh, map box. So you can choose different type of the uh, layout of the base maps. OK, so that can, you can create very beautiful uh, maps in Tableau. So that bring background map from map box into your Tableau uh, data visualization. Another very nice feature is called dual X mapping. Uh, so we have already created dual X um, charts or visualizations. But dual X mapping is that you can combine the map or the symbol from two layers into one layer. OK, so into onto one map. So that is extremely useful when you want to compare some uh, features, uh, different features on the same at the same locations. So this is one example of the dual map. OK, you can see that we are on this map is comparing different features. OK, you can see different uh, colors. Um, so that is the dual map. So to create a dual map is a very is much similar as we did for the dual chart, dual axis chart. So we just need to drag uh, this one, the peels and also copy that one so that here we have two maps okay and you can change the symbols on each of those single map and af after that you can just create a dual x chart and that will create a dual x map 
Okay, so here you can see that on the first map, that just shows the polygons. On the second map, that just shows in the, uh, you know, the different uh, features. Okay, so that is the dual max map. Uh, next, I just want to show you an example that uh, created on Tableau. And I think this is a, uh, is a very interesting one. So that it, uh, it's talking is called the beautiful trash. So that shows the, the trash routes in Cincinnati, Ohio, using public data. OK, so so this is uh, let's first see the video. OK, so this one is showing the tracks movements uh, for Tuesday, March um, 15th in 2017. OK, and we can see the truck start at 6 a.m. on the west side of the Cincinnati and they walk through uh, the neighbors neighborhood street by street and also starting around 9 a.m. and through the, the morning, the truck start heading north okay, to the landfill to empty their trucks. OK. And also we can see that uh, by 1 a.m. the trunks uh, have filled in most of the day's route through the neighbors. OK, um, but there are still a few of them that continue until uh, 4 p.m. OK. And this is another um, visualization that's showing the same data set so that here this is a dashboard. But the dashboard is interactive so that you can click uh, on different days like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday and to see the routes. OK. Um, so this is the route of the Tuesday. And this is the Thursday. OK, and finally, and it is a Friday. OK. OK, and just another example that um, to show the ideas that the less is more. So again, uh, the same topic, but with a different example that uh, here this time we're using the map to show that less is more. So you don't need to create a very complicated map OK, even a very simple map can tell a very great, excellent story. OK, so less is more. 